how's it going? Yeah, I didn't do much with my appearance today. That's all right. I was just thinking about the quarantines and some of the restrictions the government has put on the people, you know, more recently, you know, doubling down on some of the quarantines in some places like California and what they've tried to do here in Washington as well. And, you know, I mean, I think we should try to social distance or physically distance as much as we can and wear masks when we're in public, you know. But, I mean, there are some things that I've never agreed with. And it's this notion that, oh, when, when you go outside and you go to a park and there's barely anyone around, you should still wear a mask. And I'm like, I, I mean, as you've seen in my Nature Walk videos, or maybe you haven't been able to tell, but most of the time I don't wear a mask. I'll bring a mask with me in case I do run across a number of people. You know, and if I run across a bunch of people, I'll put the mask on, fine. But when there's no one around, it doesn't make any fucking sense to, to oh, you should wear a mask at, a, at an empty park. N no, no. And I mean... If police want to come and find me or arrest me because I didn't wear a mask at an empty park, I mean, go right ahead, you know? I'll make a video about it. Of course, I won't be happy with the fine, but, I mean, <clears throat> that's just stupid, you know, if they were to do that. I don't think they're going to try to enforce that like they have in some other countries. God, some of the things that I see happening in the UK is just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And some of the things that happen in Canada. I mean, there was a period there where they're like, uh, in Canada, oh, don't do any unnecessary travel. You're in a fucking car. What, what's, what, what is someone supposed to spread when they're in a car? Oh, don't, don't, go, to your, don't go to your vacation home. Why? That's stupid. You know? Um, but recently, like, California has... I don't know all the details of it, but they're they're trying to push a, a curfew. And I'm like, how does a curfew help anything? You know, I, what what's that supposed to do? And, and when you tried, I mean, you certainly didn't care when when people were were protesting against a police brutality. There were even uh, yeah, what was it? Fifteen hundred signatures. Was it 1,200, 1,500? I can't remember the exact number. From doctors saying that racism is more of a public health hazard than, uh, than the coronavirus? I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's stupid. You know? Oh, oh, it's okay if people on the left gather for protest, but if people on the right gather in any way for any reason, that's bad. Yeah, that's stupid. You know, as I say, I call out things on both sides that are that are stupid, and, and that sort of shit is stupid. Having completely different standards for if the, the left has gatherings than when the right has gatherings. You know, when, when it was shown that Biden, you know, uh, according to uh, projections, uh, when it showed that Biden won, you know, people gathered in the streets, and nobody said anything about that. Oh, that's okay. I don't know. Um, but something California is, is pushing now. The, oh, we, we're going to end outdoor dining. Like, you gotta be, come on. You know, I mean, yes, there, there is a chance of, of spreading, you know, because of the, the table and the, but come on, outdoor dining. I understand closing gyms. I understand closing non-essential businesses for, you know, people being indoors and in, in crowded uh, spaces. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But come on, outdoor dining? What? There's a point when we have to kind of open the economy to some degree. Um, I, I know that, that we're in a second wave. I don't think it's a third wave. I thought it's a second wave. 
Yeah, we, we need to be careful. But, I mean, what are people going to do if, if they, have, they have no money coming in, they can't pay their rent? I mean, we're, and all the people that are committing suicide, I mean, people are losing their livelihoods, and that's not supposed to be a problem? Now, I mean, if we had more stimulus checks coming in, that might be a little bit different, but it hasn't happened. We have people like Pelosi to thank for that, right? I don't know. I <clears throat> We're going to be hurting. You know, whoever it is that's president, you know, over this next year, we're going to be hurting. So many people not able to pay their rent. And then the way that that law enforcement looks at homeless people, you know, you're... <sighs> Everywhere someone wants to go is trespassing. Oh well, you should you should stay at a shelter or a uh, or a mission, right? You you should stay at those places. Yes, around other people. Great for social distancing, right? It's just stupid. You know, something needs to be done. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> at the very least, you know, when it comes to homeless people, we need to allow there to be spaces where homeless people can go that are not associated with churches. You know, we need to have places where people can have access to clean water, sanitation, uh, uh, you know, be able to go to the bathroom. You know, uh, place designated places in, in every city where homeless people can go that, that can be safe. Places that... Uh, that can be made sanitary. So we don't have uh, shit in the streets. So we don't have shit on the sidewalks. You know? Give them some opportunities. But that's not happening. So, uh, you know, homeless people will still be looked at as criminals because, oh, well, they're they're staying in this place illegally. Oh, you're, you're uh, trespassing. You're loitering. You're breaking a law because you're homeless. Yeah, it's essentially making homelessness illegal, and it's, it's messed. When so many people are going to become homeless, we should probably try to make things better for people who are homeless, at, at the very least, you know? Um, and then once someone is homeless, how do they get out of that? Particularly when businesses can't open because of the quarantines, because of the lockdowns. Cuomo had, had, I saw some footage of Cuomo basically. You don't have the right to pick laws that you think you will enforce and you don't enforce laws that you don't agree with, right? That's not a law enforcement officer. Uh, that's a dictator. That's, that's, that's some crazy talk, as far as I'm concerned. You know, and some businesses that, that are trying to stay open, they get, you know, a $15,000 fine. They don't have the money coming in, and you expect them to pay these huge fines because they wanted to open their businesses. No, that's stupid. Anyway, I guess I don't know what more to say, but... Uh, you know, we do need a social distance when we're around, when we have to be around other people. You know, we should be wearing masks. And and I, I understand that the masks that people wear are not about protecting the mask wearers. They're about protecting everyone else. So, I don't know, that's just why. It just seems it's even more absurd when people try to push that someone should wear a mask when they're at an empty park. God, that's so stupid. As I said, as you've, you've seen in, in my, my Nature Walk videos, you know, there, there have only been two or three videos where I've been wearing a mask because I knew that there was a possibility of being around a number of other people. So, but the empty park videos? No, hell no, I'm not going to wear a mask at a fucking empty park. No! Guess that's all I gotta say.